and have a look at this. This could be an absolute beauty from the early 90s. Got a Cotton Traders Welsh Rugby Union long sleeve polo. Dragons on the sleeve. Bit of paint on the front. But someone's got one of these listed up for about £100. I haven't had a look at sold, but one of the red ones like this, yeah, it was hitting about 100 quid. Apart from that paint on the front, it doesn't actually look too bad. Size large as well, great size. That's a beauty. Last week I wasn't in the mood for it one bit. This is completely different this week. I've already got a couple of Facebook Marketplace pickups in the bag, so that's my profit sorted for the week. So I can just get out and enjoy the charity shops a bit more. If I find some stuff to sell, brilliant. If I find some stuff for the collection, even better. eBay sales have been picking up. I'll show you those at the end of the video. But let's hit some charity shops. Brand new Raven's Burger Jigsaw here, yeah, thousand piece. Nice tiger graphic on the front. Jigsaws are a classic or to be wintery thing to be doing, aren't they? Because this is sealed, be easy to list, easy to store. Hopefully it should sell pretty quick. And these were all a pound each here, weren't they? Yeah. That was it. So three or five, five fifty altogether then. I'll just say five. Five, and well, yeah. we'll get, get this one as well. Six then. Call of Duty. And this one here as well. Ready for it. Ready for it. In here is actually Bratz. Girls really rock. Nice little surprise that, eh? Is that some old Man United bed sheets there? It's a sleeping bag. Sleeping bag, is it? Yeah. How much do you do the sleeping bag for? Two pounds. Yeah, got to get that. There's a fiver on it, but that's how much the woman wanted it for. Oh, is it? But um, we're not charging the fiver. That's cool. Yeah, we'll get that one. A Stewie of a Family Guy. That looks like a Funko Pop to me. Yeah, Funko on the bottom. How much is he? Two pound fifty. Looking at sold though. Could be pushing twelve plus post, something like that. He's cool, isn't he? Yeah, we'll get him. Sometimes you don't know what you're going to find until you see it. This is a prime example. This just jumped out. It's from 2004. It's by Playmates. It's got the instructions with it. It's called Blinkies. I've ever none listed on eBay, none sold on eBay. But doing a bit of research is a virtual pet. So I'm thinking, two quid virtual pet from the early 2000s. It's got nostalgia written all over it, hasn't it? Let's pick it up, let's test it. See what it's all about. Check this out, this just jumped out off the shelf to me. It just looks like a generic, cheapy, plasticky boat, doesn't it? But it's by Lennard, 2005. It's a Thunderboat. If you can find Thunderboats, the old ones carded, they go really, really well. The batteries in, it'll just fire around the bath. It's pretty cool. This is a modern one, I don't think it's worth too much, but for a pound 50, it's just cool to see out there. I got my eye on this jelly cat giraffe in the counter. 16 quid at the minute, that's bang on eBay sold listings. I got my eye on it. Some manga books down here, look at this. Blackbird, numbers 3 to 12. Looking at solds, I think there are 18 in the set. They're a pound 50 each. And the solds for 18 are looking at about 40, 45, something like that. I think 1 to 10 might have gone for 25. Oh look, number one and two up here. So there we are, one to twelve, pound fifty each. So what's that, eighteen quid? I'm gonna get them. They don't look to be like the most popular manga books in the world, but potential to sell for what, forty? Actually I'm talking myself out of it, eighteen into forty, take off the fees. I'll leave them. Monster Jam, Monster Truck. Dear, dear, dear. Individually priced Hot Wheels. Three ninety nine. 
buy me in a supermarket new for a couple of quid. Got some comics down here though, 199 each or three for a fiver. Excalibur, number one. Doing a bit of research, the first appearance of the widget is in this. Whoever the heck the widget is. One of these graded. Got a 9.8 and sold for over 100 quid. It's number one in the series. Number two. Number three. Four, five, six. That's three for a fiver in there. So that'd be a tenner. They are quite cool though. Look at the artwork on that. New mutants. That's cool. The weird. Number one in the series. DC Comics, number two, number three, oh, and there's number four. So a, a bit of research into these, there are only four comics in the series, so that is a complete set. On bids, last ones of those sold for about eight plus post. The World of Krypton, number one. Four, yeah, and there are four comics in that set. So we get that. Is this the world of Smallville? There's four comics in there too. So for 20 quid I picked up the full set of the weird. Full set of the world of Krypton. First four issues of the world of Smallville. And then because it's number one in the series I had to get Excalibur as well. So there might be a bit of profit in it, but it's not always about that. I'm going to read all of these first. It's about having a bit of fun with it too, isn't it? Look at that there. Look at this scream mask. I found one of the old vanilla scented ones before in the charity shop. God, I'd love to find another one of those. Check these out. I've got a bag of Marvel Guja suits. Spider-Man in there, Falcon. Incredible Hulk, £3.49. Brand new. These sell really, really well. The pre-owned market isn't so great, but I think there's enough volume in there, and it's the time of year for it as well, isn't it? That solds are starting to pick up. Prices are starting to creep up. We'll get them and give them a test. Got some old school Goosebumps books on the shelf. Number 21, Return of the Mummy. 35, Shocker on Shock Street. I know I've got that one. I've got that one already, so I'll put that back. Number 43, Beast from the East. They're cool. 50p each. So we'll get them, add them to the collection if I haven't got these already. Right, Beast from the East, number 43. Got it already. Return of the Mummy. Number 21, 20, 22, need it. Sweet little find. Check this out. That's the Hungry Caterpillar, Hand Puppet. The world of Eric Carle. It's only 50p, but these will sell for eight, nine quid plus post. So hopefully a quick five pound profit there. Me greedy green frog down there. I sold this one before. How much is it? Pound fifty. So it's cheap, but it does only sell for about a tenner plus post. And this is the type of game where there's so many small pieces in there, the chances of it being complete are really slim. So I'm actually trying to steer clear of things like this now. Back in the day, we definitely got that, but we'll leave it for someone else. It's a superhero kind of a day. Two graphic novels here. Superman, Batman, Absolute Power, Volume 3. So three quid. Sold for about four plus post. Difficult to read that as a standalone if you're just jumping in at number three. But this one though, Marvel Team Up, Volume 1. Three quid as well. Sold for about eight quid. 
So just like those other comics, there is a little bit of money in it. But it's another free read. A little bit of Berg House on the rails. Size medium, just plain grey fleece. Nothing much more going on with it than that. But it's only 3 49 That's got autumn written all over it. Look at this lurking down here, just underneath all the clothes. It looks as if people have literally just been stepping over it. What it is, is Rango Canyon 25 backpack. Air Force technology, rain cover, 449. Last one on bids, I think went for about 15. But I need to do a bit more research into this because I think it's worth a bit more than that. And just chilling on the shelf behind the tail was this Funko Pop Mewtwo. It is snapped at the back there, but it was only 50p. Can't be leaving him behind for that. This first Facebook Marketplace pickup will be absolutely no surprise to you. Last night a big Thomas the Tank bundle popped up. Trackmaster, Magnetic Take Play, there were some little minis in there. 50 quid for the lot. Well, I messaged her and said, would you split it down? I'm only interested in the Trackmaster. And if that's okay, I'll buy it all for 40 quid. Just the Trackmaster and the Track. She was happy with that. She can sell on the rest to make some more money off it. I've got some decent Trackmaster trains coming. Let's go and get it. Hiya, Hello. how are Hi. you, okay? I'm all right, thank you. Lovely. Perfect timing, right, yeah. that's the super station. Oh, nice, this is when I close in the dark, isn't it? That's right. Looking cool. All the track is then in the bag. The instructions are right at the bottom as well. And then I've just popped all the trains on the top. Is that Amazing, right? thank you very much, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, you take care. See you later, right? bye-bye. Absolute ton of it. So when it comes to looking at Trackmaster bundles, right, this is sad. I kind of know most of the trains by now because I've sold loads of this before. And when I was looking at the pictures, Shooting Star Gordon, that one popped out straight away. 20 pound plus post train. And then you got Steve and the Rocket as well. That's a 15 plus post train as well. So just those two trains, that's pretty much my money back. And then I got an absolute ton in there. That's gonna be my profit. Thing is, all right, you're always learning. These are the Revolution trains, the newer ones, and there are some that I haven't seen before. That's a good example there. There's another one there as well. So looking forward to getting stuck into this. And this next marketplace deal, it isn't the best, but I'm thinking quick, easy listing, and hopefully quick sale too. Welcome to the Madhouse. So check this, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu on Nintendo Switch, and a Pokeball Plus. I paid 30 pounds for those. And my thinking, right, is I can sell that Pokeball Plus for 30 plus post. That's gonna be my money back. The game, that's gonna be about 25 quid all in, but I don't have that for the collection. Might actually give that a play. Actually, that's a lie. I'm not gonna have time to play that. I am absolutely hooked on the new FIFA or EAFC. Ultimate team, it has grabbed me. And I did pack Jude Bellingham the other day, so that didn't help the addiction either. I'll end up just selling them both on eBay and hopefully take a quick 20 quid profit. How's that sounding? I know a few of you guys have said that the sound quality isn't the best in here. I've got some SingStar microphones. Picked these up the other week from the car boot sale. Let's give them a go. Right, let me run you through some eBay sales. Oh, it's a no good. I need, I need two hands. What about that? Let's take you through some eBay How about that? Let's give that a go. Right, eBay sales. eBay, sa eBay sales. Mark Tomkinson, I'm afraid I haven't got any mics today. You're gonna have to plug in your earphones for this one. But I have been chatting to Chaddy Pete this week about getting a wireless microphone. So I'm doing a bit of research. So hopefully this sound quality will improve in here. For now, you just have to put up with me. First sale, Medina, the lemonade squishmallow. I picked three squishmallows up at the boot sale for 11 pounds. This is the first one to sell. It's gone for 16 pounds all in. I'm gonna try and pack that down really tight. With a bit of luck, that might go as a small parcel. That'll be my money back on the bundle. The profit will be in the other squishmallows. 
two Pokemon cards to show you. Now, these have sold actually really quick. I listed three up straight after the card showed. Now, they've all sold. First up, I got Gyarados EX. The conditioning on this is pretty poor. Loads of whitening on the bottom. Big dink on the corner down there. That one has gone for 12 quid. And then I pulled this from a Vivid Voltage pack at the card show. This is Nessa Full Art Trainer. £12.50. Pair of Crocs. I paid 20 pence at the boot sale for these. Pretty neutral colour, really small size, but decent condition. Those are gone for £7.50 plus post. This is a really random one, right? In fact, I didn't even know I had it. It was just in the bottom of a big bag load of Leapfrog stuff. But when I took it out, I wasn't actually going to bother listing it. I, I wasn't even going to look it up, but there was something about it. All it is is that. A dongle. And it's not Leapfrog, it's by Girl Tech. I've got an installation CD and the manual. It's from a device called Imme, so Instant Message Me. If you can find this out in the wild complete, particularly if it's still in its original packaging, it sells for an absolute bomb. So I just thought, well, someone might want the dongle. And this has sold really quick. I listed it up for 25 quid plus post, sent out just a 5% offer to anyone who was interested. Someone snapped it up. So here's what sold on the weekend. Six sales to run through. Let's start down here. Pair of hair straighteners, these are Babalist Root Boost. Plugged them in, these ceramic plates, both of them heated up, that was good enough for me. Pat tested on the plug, paid six quid in the charity shop for these, sold for 20 quid all in. I only picked this one up Wednesday, paid three pounds, Leapfrog, two in one, Leap Top Touch. Put batteries in, tested it, lights up, sounds all work. Had a little play, that one's gone for 15 quid all in. Not the biggest market, but that's a quick five pound profit. Two G.I. Joe figures, and these are the first G.I. Joe figures I've ever picked up. From 1987, you've got the Ice Viper and the Croc Master. The condition isn't too bad. The screws on their inside leg, they've rusted over. Bit of paint damage there from just general play. No accessories. I bundle those together. Sold within the same day, 10 plus post. Probably underpriced them, but sold listings, if you sell them individually, you weren't going to get more than five, six quid plus post, I didn't think. Another Lowell doll. I paid up for these massively at the boot sale, four or five quid each. This one in the jumpsuit with the crazy orange hair, that's gone for a tenner all in, so I've made my money back on that. A kiddies Wales football jersey, nice embroidered badge on it, ages 13 to 14. That one sold for a tenner plus post. The sale of the weekend, this Jurassic World hybrid Indominus Rex. I absolutely love his paint scheme. Now, I don't know if that's meant to be flames or just some evil looking yellow spikes, but he is class. I paid £3.50 in the charity shop, listed him up for 60 Offer come in 40 quid, rejected. 45 quid, rejected. Final offer come in £50. I said meet halfway, we agreed. Sold for £55 all in. And yeah, I am totally going to post him inside this old school Barbie box. They're going to open the brown paper expecting to see this mean guy and they'll be greeted by that. So the start of October has brought a flurry of sales with it. These two Cardiff City shirts, both 4XL, they've gone to different buyers. This blue one here, this one's going to bridge end, 20 quid all in. This one, it's got a bit of a stain on the front, so I dropped the price, 15 quid. That one's off to Caffilly. On the football theme, I love these football boots. Adidas Absolutes from 2006. Only a size five and a half. I wish these were my size. If they were, they'd be going nowhere near eBay. I listed these up for 60 quid plus post. They're in great condition, but these have been listed for absolutely ages. I have actually had them on display, but now I've got the gold ones down there from John Luke. I'm happy to let them go for a reasonable offer. Back them in today. They've gone for just under 50 quid all in. This is a random piece of footwear from the National Geographic to Dinosaur Feet. I'm guessing Halloween's coming up. Maybe that's why they've sold now. Tenner plus post. Gonzo off the Muppets. I always pick him up. Disney store stamped on his feet. Not in the best condition. Laces are going a bit frayed. Few stains on his shoes down there. 15 quid all in. These shoes right are absolutely trashed. Converse platforms. I have tried to scrub them up. But just as I was finished cleaning them, I did notice there were two big holes right on the back of each heel. Now, when I bought these at the boot sale, I only paid a couple of quid for them. The lady said that her daughter had only worn them once on one walk. Well, that is one heck of a walk she's been on. 
Platform Converse though are mega popular and pre-owned prices are pretty high. So I stuck these on for a 10 plus post just to shift them and they've still gone, even with that damage. Sub-Zero off of Mortal Kombat. Funko Pop number 251, gone for 12 quid. And the final sale to show you, my Wallace and Gromit Toasty Machine. I bought this ages ago. As a toasty machine, it's absolutely awful. Like these hot plates here, they're just not big enough. You've got to cut the crusts off or you've got to have a really small piece of bread to make it work. Total novelty value though, isn't it? I think I paid a tenner for it in the charity shop. Had it listed up for 50 quid because one of them sold back in the day for that. Offer come in, 35 quid all in. It's been hanging around for long enough. Time to take the money. Oh, and I do have one more sale to show you. I sold this Adventure People X-Ray Woman by Fisher Price from 1974 she's from, and she was in the same bag as those G.I. Joe figures. I paid a pound fifty for the three. That one's gone for £18.50 plus post. Pretty cool, really. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It just helps spread the word and helps get the channel out there. Next video will be next Wednesday where we hit the charity shops and try and find some more bits for the collection or bits to sell on eBay. Catch up with you then.